Hey there everyone, Andy here from TechOBS and today I'll be reviewing this budget-friendly webcam from Hikevision. Let's get started. So if we think about webcam, we instantly shift our mind to Logitech because Logitech makes one of the best webcams and other peripherals. But if you take a look at their price range, it becomes difficult to think about purchasing them, especially for budget users like us. So if you want like an entry level 1080p webcam from Logitech, you'd have to spend around like $100, like the Logitech C920. Therefore finding a good 1080p budget webcam becomes difficult until now. Take a look at this Hike Vision webcam, specifically the Hike Vision DSU02. This webcam pretty much have the same specs as the Logitech C920 but at the price of the Logitech C270, which is really insane. So if you're thinking about buying the Logitech C270, which is a 720p webcam, then skip that and go with this Hike Vision webcam. With that being said, let's take a look at this webcam and see how it performs. So this is the box that you get. It's, you know, pretty simple, pretty cool. It comes with two years warranty, which is pretty amazing. You also get this cool quick start guide, which of course, no one's gonna read it. On the box, it does have some highlighted features mentioned, like the 1080p HD output, a built-in microphone which the sound quality is actually pretty good we'll get to it later and you can rotate it or like 360 degrees quick update the price of this webcam was around $15 but they have bumped up the price to around $20 so the price can change again in the future and yeah let's just go ahead and open this bad boy up all right, so this is how the webcam looks at its glory. And let me remind you, this video is not sponsored by Hike Vision, so this review is purely based off of my opinion. Besides that, this is how the webcam looks. It's got a nice glossy finish. I still haven't taken off that plastic film with the green tint on it. Anyway, let me show you a test video. Okay, so this is the webcam test. Yeah, the picture quality, the video quality looks really great and it's better than most of the webcams at this price range. Actually gonna turn on a fan for the background noise test if it picks it to see if it picks it up or if it suppresses the sound and hopefully you can hear it. Fan is spinning and I think you can hear it. It looks incredible. As you can see right here I'm gonna be doing a test in night mode as well just to compare the difference in day and night mode. Okay, so this is the recording test in night mode. I guess it's pretty decent. Um, night mode it's not terrible. It still does a pretty good job. I can actually turn up the lights and show you what it's like with only the monitor lights. This is the uh, test with only the monitor light. I know it's not as good as uh, some other webcams like uh, my Logitech C170 which I used before and this is also on raw settings which is on default settings. I haven't changed uh, anything. Also I don't want to peel this plastic film on the webcam. You're supposed to peel it off but quality is still looking pretty good and as you can see the field of view here it is like super wide you can literally see like the whole room pretty much it's definitely a huge upgrade from my previous webcam it was like what 480p display the jump from 480 to 1080 this is huge even the microphone sounds really really great and also it doesn't have any like fisheye effect around the corner, the Xiaomi, I think a Xiaomi webcam had that fisheye kind of effect, but this one doesn't. This one just keeps it in its native form, which is incredible. And uh, I'm also going to be showing you the settings in OBS as well. Okay, this is the webcam test from OBS. I'm going to be showing you the settings right here, and this is the 1080p webcam. Um, yeah, this is the setting. You can change the resolution from here to 1080p, and most of it is just set to default. So yeah, that is pretty much all the settings inside OBS. Okay, so the webcam doesn't have any autofocus. It's like, you know, fixed focus mode, but I'm still just gonna uh, try out showing you the text to see if it reads it that is written here. No, it does not seem to focus because it is in a fixed position and as you can see right here, it is just, but yeah, it, it, it's in a fixed focus. But yeah, for streaming and everything else like that, it is really good. It also has this cool notification light which when you're not recording or using the webcam it'll stay at red color. However if I open any recording software it will use the webcam and it will change the color from red to blue as you can see right here which means it's using the webcam. 
Alright, so it's actually been two years since I've recorded that video over there because I was so lazy I couldn't really edit that video and now here I am two years later with the same webcam and you can see, hear the microphone straight from this webcam. I've actually boosted it a little bit because it just sounds a little lower so I just have to boost it up in order to make it sound very clear so hopefully you guys can see the quality it's still looking pretty good and I'm actually recording it at night so you can see it's still looking pretty much the same. I didn't have any sort of issues with this webcam but I was a little bit concerned when I was holding the webcam it was heating up it just heats up really good and I was really concerned about that but it's been two years and nothing really has happened and I still have that plastic film which I still haven't removed it it still looks really great yeah sorry for the delay the webcam test that you've seen before was two years ago it was probably in 2022 now it's 2024 and it's it's still running pretty great so you know <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons so for the pros it comes at an affordable price point 1080p full HD resolution it's got wide angle lens it's easy to set up with the plug and play so you don't have to install in any sort of drivers and for the cons I would say it does struggle in low light conditions and there isn't really like any sort of cover for the webcam which is kind of a you know privacy concern it does heat up pretty well but fortunately nothing really happened and that wraps up my review of this Hikevision DSCU02 webcam so if you guys did enjoy it please do go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe for more videos.